I just got back from the thrift store and wanted to share with you some of the things that I got um, that maybe we'll see in some future videos. Uh, first off, um, it's that time of year, getting ready for the Christmas season. Um, I like to do puzzles. So this one is one I really like, James Christensen, and this is a James Christensen puzzle. Flight of the Fable Maker by James Christensen. Um, 1,500 pieces. Uh, it's a big puzzle. It might be a little bit difficult, but we'll see. I mean, we've got these areas that might be hard. And looking inside, um, it, it still got its original plastic bag. It's been opened, though, so we're not sure whether or not all the pieces are going to be there. But, um, in fact, it looks like it probably has never been made. They probably opened it up and got discouraged, decided not to go for it. Uh, we'll find out. So that'll be, that'll be a fun one. We can look at that. Uh, next, it's kind of an old school game, Funny Bones. Uh, the lady at the register actually mentioned that she remembers playing this at her grandmother's house regularly. Um, and loved it, thought it was hilarious. It's a card game where you do what, what it says on the card. You're in partners and pairs. And I think you hold the card in between, like this one. This one says head bone connected to the elbow bone. So I assume you hold the card with your partner between your head and your elbow. So that one looks fun. That might be fun to play also during the holidays. Also, um, uh, my younger son might like this. It's a Minecraft card game. This one, you know, just for a buck. Can't go wrong with a dollar. This one was unused, still new, and the cards haven't been taken out. When I looked it up on Amazon, seeing it in the store, the reviews were good. Um, so, that'd be fun. Fun to check out. Next one, uh, next thing I want to share with you is kind of my Jack Reacher find. So when you think of Jack Reacher, um, going into a new area, finding some new clothes, or used clothes, he'll go into the thrift store. Um, and he's always wearing kind of a gray man leather jacket. Um, and this one, uh, Wilson Leather. You know, eight. Got it for $8. Can't go wrong there. Um, it's got nice wear, nice wear on it, so it doesn't look brand new. Um, could maybe use um, some care to it. The, the pockets actually were kind of torn out a little bit, so we'll see how that, see if I can maybe fix that so it's not, so you're not losing your stuff into the inside of the jacket. Um, but great, great leather jacket that uh, fits me really well too, so can't complain there. Um, last thing was uh, something I also, whenever I'm at the thrift store, I'm always looking for. Uh, I love wool blankets. This one was $25, which is a great price. Um, it's Baron Woolen Mills, which is in Brigham City, Utah. This blanket really looks like it was just, it's just that, you know, on someone's shelf, folded up, probably never used. This is the kind of thing um, I could use it as is. Um, it's a smaller throw size, so it's not like a full size. It wouldn't fit on like a twin bed as a bed cover or anything. I like to get wool blankets to make scout blankets and things like that. Um, and sometimes make um, Native American regalia out of it. This is nice red, nice thick red wool. Um, could probably do a few things with or just leave it as is. So um, that's kind of what I, I found today at the thrift store. Um, look forward to sharing with you some of these in future videos. The kids are already chomping at the bit to do the puzzle, so we might do that soon. Thanks.